once again. Welcome to Chair Interval Training, brought to you by Community Access TV and the Yellow Springs Senior Center. And of course, me, Lynn Hardman, Flex Silver Sneakers Instructor. I love to be able to bring this to your home safely, and I love to see folks out and about also safely sporting a mask and keeping social distancing and washing hands and getting back to life as safely as we can. So we're here to exercise, but first consult your physician before you do this or any exercise program. If you feel dizzy or unbalanced at any time, it is recommended that you remain in your sturdy chair or return to it. And we'll just need a couple things to get started here. Um, we've been using a large jug or some hand weights for the entire month of July for our resistance tool. And we'll also be using a rubber tubing or a flat rubber or non-latex band. And of course we'll use some music. We're going to get started standing up, but you could start sitting down. So I brought some, we've used this before, but some classical music. Let's see how it sounds today. I wish I could ask you, is that about right volume-wise? <laughs> anyway, feel free to tell me whenever you see me around town or email me or phone me, I'm in the Red Book. Let's see how we're feeling today. Check your area, safety first. Make sure nothing's under your feet. That may trip you up. And use your best posture and always stay within an arm's reach of this balance check device. Our chair is our, is our balance check. It's our home base. In a sense, it's an assistive device. So, best posture will make it better, easier to move our bodies and breathe, making room for our lungs to inflate. Anytime we do aerobic activity, we are training our lungs and our heart and our brain. We need all that fresh oxygen getting to all parts of our body, but no place more so than the brain. All right, let's see if our brain can manage to learn a couple patterns. I will preview them as I like to do in our warm-up that we'll use today for the ABCs. A is for agility, B is for balance, C is for coordination. All of these things are super important for our activities of daily living and our quality of life. So, make sure you can touch that chair. Here's A for agility. Get that right foot marching. Right, 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 left, right. Got it? This is our rock step pattern. We're going to take it at tempo in different directions. Little steps because we're warming up. Rock forward for four, three, two. So we're stepping forward and together. Now to the side. Four, three, Got those feet as much or as little as you like. Good, now four to the back. A little step back and together. Not too big. Four to the side. Good, for agility, that's the ability to move our feet fast. Let's do four at tempo to the front. And after these three more and two more, we're gonna go double time. Itty bitty quick steps, here we go, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You put the picture, just march it out because we're warming up. But that's coming to a theater near us soon. Okay, the other pattern that we're going to do, I'll want you to stand behind your chair so you can use it as your balance check. But I'm going to just come out over here to the side just a little bit to show you it's a balance pattern sounds like this. Single, single, double. We've done it before. Single knee, single knee, now double. Single, single. On that double, we could use our chair as our assistive device or our balance check. We can also tap our toe down if we like. So pull your navel in. Let the crown of your head float up to the sky. And we can also double this pattern. Try 
double, 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 double. Now four, four, three, two. Try it again. Double, double, four, three, two. Woo. You get the picture. Okay. Well, let's warm up our shoulders and chest and spine a little bit. Just pushing up to the ball of your feet. One to the other. And squeezing your hips, bending your knees a bit. Just sort of exploring your full range of motion with comfort today. Try a little shoulder roll backward. And if it feels good, take it in your elbow. Nothing hurting, take it bigger. Anything hurts, you can always reduce the range of motion, right? Or substitute something that didn't hurt. Good, let's see if we can do a backward shoulder roll. That feels good. Taking it to the elbow if you want more. Or a full on backstroke. It's been awfully hot, a swim would be nice and cool. All right, one more way our shoulders can move. Let's see how opening and closing. Actually, there's a lot more ways I can move, and you can move your shoulders. Those ball and socket joints, shoulders and hips need a lot of warm-up time. So, wonderful, let's march it out. At least I hope you feel wonderful. I'm gonna be asking you frequently as we transition to the chair for a dynamic stretch, how you're feeling. And we use a scale of one being lowest intensity and 10 being highest intensity. And our goal is that we reach that sweet spot, I hit a button apparently, of um, four to seven. Let's get seated, but do so mindfully, carefully. Get your feet lined up with the front feet of your chair. Just sort of hand your hips back, but keep your chin up. Not totally up, but imagine a glass of water on each shoulder. And coming down nice and slow and hovering is a great strengthener for your hips and your thighs. Or doing several squats before you get settled. Squats use our body weight for resistance. Just like we use the tubing for resistance and the jug or the hand weights for resistance. I am not going to resist the temptation to have a sip of water and I encourage you to frequently it's best when you're in your chair. It's also best to do it kind of slowly. Stepping to the side, leaning to the side. That protects our lower back. Let's warm up a little here in the chair. Here's another pattern we'll use for one of our strength exercises. It's an out, out, in, in. Sit tall near the edge of your seat. Let's step out to the right, out to the left, in, and then start with your left foot. Left, right. Now we're not going to be running around at full speed, but a little faster now. Right and left. Good. We'll use this when we do our hip abduction exercise. But it's also a good brain trainer. Let's try it. Whoops. Never mind. You got it, I'm sure. <laughs> Woohoo! I meant to end up wide so we get a nice inner thigh stretch. So, toes and knees point the same direction as we gently open up the hips and take our shoulder blade from our back pocket whoop, into our front pocket. Oh, that feels good. Ah, and then the other side. If something hurts you, we don't do it, okay? You can, again, reduce the range of motion, go back to the last thing you did, or you can just totally skip it and wait for another move. Let's stick out our right leg and our left leg. Right and left. Let's do a single, single, double. Right, left, and double on the right. We're ingraining that pattern. Left, right, 
and double on the right. See if we can do that in the air. Single, single, squeezing that tummy in and then double. Squeezing those thighs. If it doesn't feel good, you can put your heel back down on the ground. Let's add an opposite arm. So left to the right, right to the left. Okay, we got that. Single, single. Now double. Let's do it a couple times quicker. Not too fast. Single, single, double. Peace. Single, single, double. One more each side, if you please. And if you don't, please. Please don't. <laughs> All right, let's stretch out the left leg first. It always gets second class the left side. I'm particularly aware of that because I'm a lefty. Inhale, lengthen and strengthen your spine. Keep it long and strong and support it on your lap and reach forward. Think forward. Lift your toes and your fingers. Ah, point them down. And then bring up that ankle. It's important for our balance. Pull your navel in like you're zipping up tight trousers. Draw the knee towards the chest and draw circles with your ankle. Oh, I must have hit the shuffle button. I tell you, folks. <laughs> this exercise class is simple, but sometimes it's not that easy. Now you stretch out your right leg while I fix the music box. Oh, good. How's that right leg hamstring stretch going? Hmm? You didn't do it? Oh. Well, here's your last chance. Actually, we might get to stretch it again at the end when we're good and warm and limbered up. So these beginning stretches are just preparatory. Push your soul toward the ground, fingers too. We're not quite as warm and hence, we're not quite as limber. So this is not the time to push to the limits of your flexibility. We're just getting ready for a little more activity. And to that, let's take a deep breath and ask ourselves, how do I feel right now on that scale of one to 10 with regard to intensity? I would imagine it's a one or a two because we really haven't been moving around a whole lot yet. But remember, you've got to be able to talk while you do this next pattern for approximately 10 minutes. We're gonna use Let's use our rock step pattern. And if, remember, you can do this in your chair, or you can do it in the air. But take your time and decide where you want to be. Be mindful. Double check your area. Make sure there's nothing under your feet except for the sturdy soles of your shoes. And we're going to start on the left side since we use the right a little bit. Make sure you can see and touch your chair. Keep it in your peripheral visual field. And we're gonna get that left foot marching. Left, 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 right, left. Got it? Good. Now, we're gonna do that rock step forward for four. Four, together. Three, together. Best posture, those imaginary glasses of water. To the side, four, three, Two, one, to the back. Can you touch your chair? Two more to the back. And side again, four. We've been going at tempo, three. We're gonna stay at tempo and take it to the front. Four at tempo, three, stay here in the front. Two, but we're gonna speed it up to fast feet eight times. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, are you breathing? Three, two, slow it down and four to tempo, to the side, to the tempo. Two more. Now eight, quick feet, eight, seven, count with me, six, five, four, three, two, that's our top test, slow it down and back. Three more at tempo, rock back and two together, rock back, fast feet, Woo. Four more, three, two, slow it down, 
to the sun. Are you getting this pattern? I hope so. Eight quick feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and march it out. Woo! How are you doing on that scale of one to ten? Four-ish? Five-ish? Maybe you're an eight, nine, ten. Definitely if you're a nine or a ten. Have a seat and just breathe. Get a sip of water. Join back in when you like. If you want to continue, we're going to come over here to the right side and give the right side equal treatment. March on that right, best posture, able to touch the chair. Right, 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 left, rock, step forward. Forward. Good. And to the side. 30 more. Two more. One, to the back, four, three, two, one, to the side again, at tempo, three, we're going to stay at tempo, two more to the side, and take tempo, four to the front, after these three more, we'll go fast feet, two more, are you ready, here we go, eight, seven, six, fast posture, four, Three, two, slow your rolling out and together. Out and together. To the side, again. Ready, fast feet. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you do it while talking? Two, slow it down and back step together. Rock step together. Good, good. And fast feet, we're almost there. Four more, three more, two more. Tempo to the right. Three, two, one. Fast feet again. Eight, seven, six, five. Or just listen to the music. Woo! March it out. How are you doing? I gotta check my clock, but keep marching. If you're marching in your seat, or if you're marching on your feet, keep marching. You're doing great. I'm shooting for a little bit longer with this good heart rate. So let's take our rock step behind our chair. No, it's not. <laughs> let's take it back to the left. This time we're going to go just four to the front tempo and then we're going to do eight to the front tempo. We're not going to go around slow. You ready? We're just going to take our right. Oh, sorry, that's our other right. It's our left. Oy vey. Left of arch. Left, left, left foot and forward rock for four. Three. Good. Two. Stay right here and fast feet forward if you like. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, now rock, step four, to the left, three, two, one, now fast feet, out and in, mm -hmm. how many more, four, three, two, rock, step that tempo, back, Woo! it's getting warm in here, fast feet again, Woo! we're getting stronger, hearts and lungs, Four more. Three, two, and rock to the side. Tempo. We're almost there. Two more. Fast feet again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Phew! How are you doing? Can you still talk? I hope so. We're going to try and do that again. This time let's cut it down to twos. Let's march on that right foot, right foot. So we're gonna rock step at tempo twice to the front, and then four quick ones, and then twice to the side at tempo, and then four quick ones, etc. Ready, rock two times forward. Ready, four fast feet. Four, three, two. Now two to the side, tempo. Good. 
four fast ones. Four, three, two. Now slow it down to the back. Two, one. Four fast ones. Four, three, pump those arms and two to the side. Last four fast ones. Woo! We're done. Well, with that part. How are you doing? I hope you're holding up there. I'm in a great, grand, glorious time at home. We're going to do some strength work, starting with, you bet your sweet baby squats. <laughs> Keep your head up. <laughs> I hope you're laughing with me. Sometimes it's good to be able to laugh at oneself. So I'm going to do about maybe eight to ten squats. That's a good number, but you can also just do one sitting down very, very slowly with those heels, of course, lined up with the front legs of your chair so you don't miss your landing, your intended landing spot. Let's get a sip of water, a much-deserved sip of water. It's been so hot for such a long period of time. You've got to, got to, got to keep hydrated. Okay, let's see. I had intended to use the um, weights first. Yes, indeed. We're gonna do some total body exercises. But first, grab your jug or your hand weights. Make sure the lid's secure if you've got water or vinegar or whatever in your jug. We're gonna do a one-armed row. We've done this before, but it's a great functional trainer. So turn and face the right side. Your left hip will be a little off the edge of the chair so that if you choose, if it works well for you, you could add a, a lunge to this exercise. Now, that's a big all body exercise. So I'm not expecting everyone to want to do that, but if you do, raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear to use the chair before I need it, okay? So lock in those strong abdominals. Get that foot back there tucked under if you choose to, to lunge. Hinge slightly forward at the hip. With your left hand holding the jug, thumb up. Reach for those toes. Row. Keep it close. Think of pointing your elbows straight back. One arm rows. We're strengthening the upper back, the rear deltoids of the shoulders, and the bicep. Now if you wanted to add your lunge, your body comes up as your weight comes up. You can tap down or sit down, but use that left hand, or sorry, the right hand. I'm all messed up today. <laughs> but I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. We've done quite a few of these. How many more do you want to do? Oh, I heard somebody say three more. But if you think you're done, you're right. Woo, that's a piece of work, people. I felt that right here, and here, and here, and of course in my shoulder. We're gonna do the other side, but first, let's, yeah, let's just go right to the other side. Turn and, <laughs> turn and face the left side of the room. Set yourself up for success, so your left hand can hold the chair here. Your right hand's got your weight. Ease that uh, right leg back. Strong, engaged abdominals. Hinge it slightly forward, reaching for the toes. Row, point that elbow back. I can see. Come on, join in with me. I wish I could see you. There are other formats, but this one I think is the best for several reasons for this class. Now, if you want to add that lunge, use your chair. Use great care. This total body, picking something heavy up off of the floor is a functional trainer. How about a couple more, if you like. If you feel like you're done, you're right. When you hear this music, I think somebody's going to creep out of that door over there. 
Okay, we're going to do a abdominal strengthener for the obliques. Okay? So imagine a pane of glass in front of you. You don't want to touch it with your body. You can put your left hand on your left waist. Reach down as far as you can to pick up, oh, I don't know, a suitcase. It's not a great range of motion, so pull your navel in. Keep the resistance there. And if you wanted to, you could add a bicep curl. So remember, don't run into that imaginary pane of glass. If that's not really challenging you, you could take great care and you could do a side lateral raise at the top. Almost like you're pouring a jug. That's why we had to check the uh, lid, make sure it was tight. So reach to the side, bicep curl, side lateral raise with the shoulder. This time we're strengthening the medial head of the three-headed shoulder muscle. All right. I think I've had just about enough on that side. How about you? take it to the other side. Unless you have an issue on the other side, you can do this with no weight and it would still strengthen your obliques because our body weight is the resistance tool. Resistance. Sit tall. Make sure that imaginary glass pane is in front of you. Down and up. Really pull the navel in and exhale. Each time you come up or inhale, but don't hold your breath. Can you feel it? Awesome. Now, if you want, you can add that bicep curl, keeping the elbow close to the body. Nice and slow makes it a little bit more work. We're trying to do our work wisely. If you want to add that side lateral raise, or elbow down, reach, pick up the suitcase or the jug, or that's also a great forearm and grip strengthener, as well as the rotator cuff and the shoulder. Ooh. I kind of uncoordinated that. How's your coordination doing out there? great time here all by myself, safely exercising without a mask. Let's take a sip of water. Take your time. I do enjoy exercising with you virtually, but I'm so looking forward to a time and a way in a safe venue when we can exercise together personally. I'll drink to that. Okay, moving right along. We're going to do our single, single, double pattern, and then we'll double it up and we'll do our double, double fours. All about balance. Now, if you're working in your chair with this one, and we're doing knee lifts, your quadriceps and hip flexors might get sore, so you'll have to be creative as always and draw your heels back or kick them out. Or just do arms. That is an excellent thing to do in the chair. The arms can add almost 30% more load to strengthening your cardio output, your heart. Okay, I'm going to stand up, but you get to mindfully choose. I'm going to start over here on the left. I'm feeling feisty today. <laughs> Starting everything on the left. How revolutionary, right? <laughs> okay, best posture, check your area, make sure it's safe, clear and free of stuff on your feet. And let's do our single, single, double with a left knee first. Here we go, left, right, double, right, left, double. Now, on that double, we can tap our toe down or we can grab our chair if we need. 
So make sure you can reach and touch it at any time. Best posture. Now, you'll notice sometimes I lean a little bit. That means I'm, I'm kind of I'm challenging my balance. But we're trying not to lean with this balance exercise. And what those imaginary glasses of water on your shoulders, keep up from tilting if you can. What really helps me is focusing. Sometimes I'm going to focus. And pulling that navel in strong to the spine. And breathing. Good. Sometimes, in sports we use the phrase, fake one to make one. Sometimes I just fake my confidence and it actually gets better. And balance is related to our feelings of self-efficacy. How well do I feel like I can do it? If I practice, I know I'll get better and I know you will too. Single, single. Double. My thighs are starting to get sore. How about yours? Yeah, let's change it up a little bit. Let's get behind the chair. Nice wide-ish base. Start with a mini squat. Put some spring in your step. You can use your chair, but we're going to kick our heels up. Are you ready? Left foot first. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. What if you wanted to add arms to this? You could add a row, chest high, and keep one hand on the chair. If you don't need the chair, you could take both arms to that row. Try not to let those shoulders tip one way or the other too much. And keep that little meaning squat in, that dip in your skip. Single, single, double. One more single, single, double, and then we're going to double it. Double, double, double. Double. Now four, four, three, two. Woo, that's harder. Double. Double. Four, three, two. We can always tap our toe down. If we need or touch our chair. Four, three, two, one, double, double, four, three, two. Hey, let's try straightening out our leg on the fours, like hip abduction. I messed up. Double, double, four, three, two. Good, keep going. Double hamstring curl. Double. And then four hip abductions. Good, keep going. I'm going to come out a little bit in front. So you can see what I'm doing. This hamstring curl is strengthening our backs of our thighs. And this hip abduction strengthening the side of our hips. Four. Three. Whoop. Two, one, one more. Good, four, three, two, let's march it out. Woo, I felt that, did you? Wow, let's take a little stretch and ask ourselves on a scale of one to 10, 10 being maximum intensity, I can't even talk. How are we doing? How are you doing? Doing good? Want more? If so, Let's come on over here and try this single, single, double, one more time with just a little flick kick. Remember when you were a kid, maybe you jumped rope. You can try that, but if you need the chair, make sure you've got it in your left hip pocket. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. I love my imaginary jump rope because I never miss. <laughs> single, single, double. How are you doing? Single, single, double. Single, single, double. For coordination, let's try, keep those feet kicking, but let's try backward jump rope. Single, single, double. Single, 
single, double. Got your chair right there. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Good. Now, if we did this really low to the ground, let's go back to just feet. No jump rope. Double. We're going at tempo. Do you think we could try some what I call red hot pepper? Keep those feet low. Single, single, double. 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 How are you doing? Whoops, I messed that up, didn't I? Single, single, double. Single, single, double. All right, march it out. I'm just a goofball today. But, you know, what you see is what you get. <laughs> How about we take a little break? like the music just changed. I must have pressed the shuffle button or something. I apologize if you hear the same music over and over. We're going to transition to strength again. So get your hips in gear. Get your feet close to the front of your chair. Do your best. Slow, two, three, and up on one, or up on four. Down, hips back, head up. Down. Push those hips forward. And how many more squats do you want to do? Eek. Some of you are already sitting down. Good for you. You know your limits. <laughs> I'm going to sit down with you. I get a much deserved drink of water. Woo. That was fun. It's not fun to get dehydrated and things get go from worse to really bad fast if you're dehydrated. So be aggressive with that water drinking. Okay, we're going to use our other resistance tool, our tubing, to do some more work. I consult my cheat sheet. <laughs> this, this silver sneakers classic workout or this chair interval training is a really, really good for this is really good basic training for life. It really is. Case in point, my husband and I took most of last week to put in a new floor. And it was really physical. But we must have saved well over $12,000 doing it ourselves. Um, and, you know, it's those kinds of things that being fit a little bit every day will help you with, with all of the parts of your life that give you joy and then some that just save you money. <laughs> Okay, we are going to use this tube to put behind our back, under our arms, to do a little bit of a sitting close to the edge of the chair. We're setting up to do some cross punches. But first, let's get the desired amount of resistance on there. Grab the tube a little closer to the shoulder and notice it's challenging, but not too challenging, to straighten at the elbows. Good. Now, just keep your hands close to your shoulders for now. Tuck your tailbone under and lean back a bit. Feel your abdominals. Slide forward a couple inches. Slide back. As you slide forward, you can do that cross punch. Pull your navel in and turn your ribs around ever so slightly. Lean back. So this cross jab is working our, the fronts of our shoulders now, the chest and the tricep. And of course, we're working our abs with this little slide forward and back. If you wanted to, you could add a cross chop to your toes. If you wanted to, you could do a single, single, double. Oh, 
you wanted to, you could do just one more of those because we've done quite a few. Alrighty. Whew. That was a good chest. Fronts of the shoulders, tricep, and abdominal exercise. And if you're lifting your legs, you've got some quad work there too. Now we want to work a little bit here on the outsides of the hips. So this is our where I previewed the pattern of out, out, in, in. Set yourself up in good posture sitting near the edge of your chair with your knees staying over your ankle. We don't want our knees to dip in on this one. Imagine you've got a horse between your legs. <laughs> and we're going to crisscross the reins, if we like, for more resistance. Stretching it out to the outside of the leg will make it a little bit harder, bringing it to the inside a little easier. Sit tall, we're going to go to the right, to the left. Sit tall, in, and this is an agility, but just a tiny bit faster. Out, out, keep your body strong and tall. So we're alternating our lead foot, breathing, pulling our navel and bracing with the abdominals to support the spine and stabilize the spine, but all while breathing. Good. Ooh, we're just having all kinds of issues today. Did you see the lights flicker? Good. I'm just happy we're in um, this little studio here is a basement and it's nice and cool without even air conditioning. Okay, my hips are really starting to feel it. How are yours? Let's move our feet out wide and keep them there. Make sure the knees are on top of the ankles and push open. Push and roll to the outer edge of the shoe. As much as you can, you've got to be at the edge of your seat for this one. Good. If you want, with control, just do a little pulse out. I'm going to go so pulse, pulse. That's about right for me. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. I saw the camera light flash there too. We're going to do one more um, exercise for our upper body. The village is out there doing some work. I'm wondering if that's what's happening in here. We'll find out. <laughs> We're going to do one more set of rows. Here we go. Keep the hands close. Lead with the elbows and think of squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Oh yeah. That feels good. Now most of us have a lot of strength in our upper back and rear deltoids and biceps, so if you want to make it harder, feet go away from the hips, creating more resistance on the band. Keep those heels down or it'll snap up and hit you on the back side of your thighs. Or you could lean back and make that resistance even more with your upright row. Or you could add Another set of ab slides. Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, but if it doesn't challenge us, it won't change us. And why are we exercising? We want the positive changes to our body, our brain, and our spirit. Yes, exercise is good for your physical body. It's good for your cognitive brain and it's great for your spirit, your mood. And I've had enough. <laughs> How about you? Woo! Make sure you take your resistance off you too before you step out or whack you in the chin. I apologize. I did something to the music. I pressed a button that made it all shuffle. So, but it's all good. It is also all good to get a drink of water before we continue with some stretching. I would like to spend a couple minutes, three or four on balance, and then do a standing stretch. If you want to get your mind set on that, we're not going to be vigorous at this point. We're starting to cool down, but there's a couple things that we 
just can't train while we're in our chair. And one of them is balancing on our feet. Now you can just choose to walk, um, watch from your seat if you're having a bad balance day or you're having a, some injury or infirmary, infirmity in your um, lower body. That's okay. I think this is a good balancing song. Oh my. Okay, so we're going to take that that uh, imaginary tightrope and to set ourselves up for success remember we'll have um, a couple of safety nets number one is being close enough to your assistive device your chair check the area behind your chair start out with the arms uh, arms length away so that you can touch it and stop when you can't touch the chair okay we're going to start simply with best posture. Oh, so, so having the chair is, is our safety net number one. Safety net number two is being able to step out and come to a lower, wider, more stable base. So best posture. And just see if you can stand on one foot here. You can always put your foot down. And then slowly toe heel walk on your imaginary tightrope. That tightrope has to have a lot of resistance. Once you get to where you can't touch your chair anymore, that's a good time to lift your leading toe, keep your knees straight, and take your heel back. If you want to add a balance challenge, you could turn your head. This is very tricky for me. Going backward only if you can touch the chair. A wall makes a nice um, assistive device too. Now let's take that other leg back. Pull the crown of the head up and then swing that leg through. So you can touch your chair or step out anytime you like. And let's try it one more time, if you please. So toe heel walking, keeping our vision, our sight on an object across the room, and then try your hip swing, slow and steady, and then going back. Always able to touch the chair or the wall, and it's of course up to you if you want to add that visual challenge of turning your head. How is that? Was it just about right? Was it not too easy, but not too hard? That's what we're shooting for, is it? that sweet spot where you're getting the training effect. Now, we're gonna stretch our little calf muscles because they worked very hard. So keeping the heel pasted on the ground, keeping the knees straight, but not locked. Lean into it, nice, gentle cast stretch. And see if you can narrow your stance a little. Bend that knee now and still keep the heel paced on the ground. And feel the stretch come sort of to the outer, outer part of your ankle. Some people feel this on a, the heel. But a straight leg calf stretch and then a bent leg calf stretch are good. Alright, let's do the other leg. <laughs> Walk that other leg back. You can use the wall for this stretch because it's not going to scooch, like your chair might scooch if you're really digging in. And let comfort be your guide. It shouldn't hurt. Stretches should not hurt. You should feel them, and towards the end of a workout is when we're really giving them a little more time and a little tiny bit more range of motion if it doesn't hurt. So straight leg calf stretch. 
And then if you narrow your stance and shift your weight into that hind quarter, kind of sit down, bend that knee, you may or may not feel a difference in the stretch, but you're still getting the benefit. This bent knee calf stretch is focusing a little bit more on the soleus. Well, let's sit and stretch some more. You can sit however you want to. I'm gonna sit down slowly and hover a moment and enjoy that music. You can enjoy another sip of water. We're going to sit at the edge of the chair and just lengthen out that right leg, support of the left. Start to notice your breath. Breathe slower, purposefully, mindfully, but at your own pace. Stretch your toes up and your tailbone back. Give it a moment. And let's get, sit tall and try the left leg. Having the knee over the ankle creates a more sturdy base as you hinge forward to support your back. Lifting the toes develops the hamstring stretch. Deep inhale, reaching the tailbone back. Mm, that felt good. Let's do the stretch we did at the beginning and see how it feels now. Maybe we can notice a little bit more limberness, flexibility. So knees track toes, opening gently to feel an inner thigh stretch. Leaning or hinging forward, and then rolling the shoulder forward. Breathe into that space of that muscle behind your shoulder blade. And then the other. Breathing deeply expands our rib cage and develops the stretch. Let's Take your time, turn to the side, and do your best to enjoy slowly. And hip flexor, quadriceps stretch, getting that leg back, using your hand on the back of your chair. Let the weight of that leg drift down to the ground, lengthening the front side of the hip. Inhale, lifting your crown of your head up, up, up. Maybe a slight opening in your spine feels good. Not if it doesn't, don't do it. And exhale, stretching to your chair. Good. So we're feeling a stretch here and here and maybe a little in the shoulder and the back. Take your time, and we'll do the other side. Unless it hurts. You can skip it if it hurts. You could substitute a different stretch. So hinging forward sometimes helps to coax that right leg back. Sitting up slowly so we don't strain any muscle here. Breathe in, filling your lungs from the bottom to the top. Shoulder hurts, you can shorten it. You can open your spine a bit with this gentle arch. And then when you're ready, exhale and lean toward your seat back. Oh, Lord, that hurts. <laughs> that is not the cool down aura I was trying to create. <laughs> I think this will be a good show. <laughs> this is what I meant to have.
go next. Bear with me, folks. Let's finish off this fabulous hour of moving our bodies. Thinking with our brain and coordinating our limbs and hopefully improving our spirit, our mood, with some relaxing breaths. Just breathing. Sitting back in our chair as comfortable as you can. Taking a load off of your shoulders by resting your hands in your lap. You can lower your gaze or close your eyes and just notice your breathing. Go at your own pace. Ideally breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth or your nose. Filling our lungs effortlessly from the bottom to the top with each inhale. And relaxing and releasing any tension, tightness, or discomfort with each exhale. any discomfort in your body, soothe it with your breath. Imagine as you breathe in that wave of effortless energy flowing and soothing any tight or uncomfortable parts. As we finish up our mindful breathing, think of breathing in through your nose like you're smelling your favorite aroma. And exhaling perhaps effortlessly through gently pursed lips like you're blowing out a candle. There have been a lot of things going on kind of at the same time and we've been missing some things. One, if you're a music lover, I know you've been missing some of the fabulous live music that we have in and around Yellow Springs. You can get a sip of water now if you like. Um, I'm going to remind you of a couple things. I noticed the little artist planning to reopen. Keep your eyes on that. Um, I know they'll do everything they can to make it safe for us, but of course, wearing our masks is the number one thing, that and some physical distancing, and all of the other smart health, safety, and hygiene things that we know, we know. And I just wanted to say, before I sign off, um, our wonderful Congressman John Lewis passed away a couple days ago. 
And I would just like to say, may he rest in peace. He was all about peaceful protest, and he was passionate about it, and he was professional about it. And maybe better put, may he resist in peace, and may we continue to uh, resist those things, those systems in our society that need resistance. But don't resist to wear your mask. Please, please, please. Keep it safe and simple. Until next time. Bye for now.